So uh, good evening, students. Myself, uh, Sangeeta Parshunikar, and I'm, I'm the assistant professor from the Department of Electronics and Computer Science. I'm also the IIC social media coordinator. So today I'll be taking a session on branding and the promotion of startups. <clears throat> so uh, let me start with this uh, concept itself. What is this startup? And anyone has any idea what it means as a startup? Ma'am, uh, to solve problem uh, which is which can be solved, like which is not uh, there in our day to day. Yeah. Okay. The startup is. It is a newly established business, or your company is in its initial stage. Okay, your company in an initial stage of business. That's called as the startup. Okay. <clears throat> so for the startups also, the branding and the promotion is very very important. So those are the things that will make your product or the service recognizable to the people, to the customer. Okay. So in today's session, I'll be covering. What exactly is the branding, and why it is needed for the startup? And there is a general tendency that people think branding and the marketing both are almost same. But here in the presentation, I'll differentiate <coughs> the important points and important differences between the branding and the marketing. Then I'll be covering uh, the importance of branding for the startups and what are the steps involved. If you go for the promotion or the branding of any company, and then I'll give you uh, the good examples of uh, the startups uh, by our own students, by our own alumni, and how they are promoting uh, their company or their product. Okay, so I'll I'll be showing their examples, and then I'll conclude the session. I think few people are trying to enter. So student, uh, first I'll be showing you few pictures. Okay, so few pictures will pop up on the screen, and let's see whether you are able to recognize them or not. Okay, so one by one, these pictures are popping on the screen. And I'm pretty sure that you all can re easily recognize them. There was a reason behind them is. Like you all are familiar with these pictures, okay? Now, the reason is because they are good brands, and we are using them, okay? If you see the first one, the Amazon, it's a e-commerce online shopping platform which provides all kind of products, and we are using it. It's offering a very good service to all of us, okay? So that makes a brand. And we recognize this thing as a service or as a product, and that's nothing but what the branding of so and so product. Okay, if you see at this Cadbury, okay, so you you know what it is exactly. Okay, so just by recognizing the logo, you you came to know that this is a good brand and. We actually go for that particular product or for that particular service. Okay, so what exactly is the branding? It's the act of giving a company a particular design or a symbol in order to advertise its product or its service, right? And if I ask you to identify a few of this logo on all of this logo, I'm pretty sure that all of you can recognize this, right? So, what exactly is the branding? It's this marketing strategy aimed to make people quickly identify and experience an organization's brand 
and product and select them over competitors product right now uh, i'll explain you this in detail see <clears throat> what happened many startups they feel like branding is only for multinational corporations or they are for large big companies right who has big budgets so they can spend money on the branding and it's for them so uh, the startups they feel that it's an extra expenditure and they can't afford it because they have a limited resources they have limited money to spend on the important things so they generally neglect the branding but student it doesn't matter that what kind of company you have or what type of customers you are looking for if you are in the business you have got some serious competition i know who will help you out the branding will help you out branding helps you to establish the ways in which you are different you are special and you are unique okay so this way you can form the distinct identity okay so branding for the startup is just as important as it is for the established corporate players okay yes <clears throat> i am using this word branding and so but what exactly the meaning of this right so branding is not just the visual identity that's a name what we see or the logo what we can see the design or the packaging but it makes a memorable impression on the consumer okay rather it is uh, what we can say it's a true representation of what you are as a business or how you wish to be perceived okay so there i mean this is the one way that you know by looking at the pictures by looking at the logo we can identify that particular product so it is one part of the branding you could say right but there are many different areas that are used to develop the brand and what are those areas are like advertising right advertising is a way which develops you know through which you can make your customer recognize your product okay so these are the ways like advertising customer service or social um, responsibility or the visual so all these elements or few more they work together to create one unique and attention grasping profile and that is very very important for the startup okay so when you are thinking of for the name and the logo or the website design for your product you consider these four factors to them the first is what's the background story what is the background of your startup okay and what your product is all about what does your product do okay and what are those values which drives your team for developing or for manufacturing that product okay so you should consider all this factor while thinking for the name of your uh, company or for the logo or the color combination and so on and so the last factor is this visual okay so the name itself can see you know it it should have the background story it should have the promise which we are making to the customer okay and it should have that good looking feel uh, emotion you know the your name should be emotionally attached with your customers also okay what are the points i am saying the student i'll explain you i'll give you the uh, true uh, example of it okay so first we'll just see what uh, what is the definition of branding and what is promotion okay yeah so we know okay i i'm pretty sure that by this time you know what exactly is the branding okay now what promotion is it involves different kind of communication activities you keep on promote you, you need to keep on promoting your product you need to keep on promoting your service which you are offering to the society okay so how you will do that through the uh, different ways of communication okay so the promotion involves all kind of communication activities that inform your potential consumers about the existence of the product 
about the existence of the service or the ideas and pursue them to buy okay so it is the process of telling people about the product about your company okay <clears throat> now student what is happening nowadays no more and more startups are flooding into the market and in almost every sector it's not like one sector only the people are uh, coming up with the various products in almost all the sectors more and more startups are coming so it is becoming harder to attract the consumers as well as the potential investor because if you are a startup you need some funding right so you need to attract the consumer and the potential investor also so the only way out to stand or to make a distinct identity is the startups are required to invest in their branding much earlier in their product life cycle what that mean is the moment you start thinking of doing something new okay i am going to uh, uh, make a new equipment who you know Uh, uh which will be used in the medical field as an engineer i'm going to uh, have uh, some kind of instrument okay which will be cheap which will give the accurate tracing and so and so so the thought has come in your mind okay but at the same instance of time you should also think that when my product is ready and i i am suppose i'm going to launch that product in the market what will be the name of that product or how will i do the publicity or the branding of that product okay so that is the meaning the moment you start thinking of your product at the same instance of time you also start thinking for the name and how you will go uh, for the promotion of that product okay and that's the reason i use that statement like the startups are required to invest in the branding much earlier in their product life cycle or the project life cycle you could say okay the student here we we generally have uh, as a customer or as a consumer we have this tendency uh, ki uh, we thought that the people will go for the quality right we generally uh, think so and uh, uh, see suppose i am going for one product what i'll think that the people will see if the price of my product is less if it has good features and it is convenient okay the people will surely buy but let me tell you student only few percent of the consumer let's say 5 to 10% of consumer they will look for this thing that they will look for the pricing features or how easy to handle or the convenience okay but the 95% of the consumers they will be driven by other factors what are those other factors those are mainly created by the branding and how the customer feel about your company okay what i mean by that the great startup can motivate customers subconscious to go with your product or to go with your service over the competitors one okay customer should be emotionally attached with your product or with your service then attracting more and more consumer would be very easy job okay now to make you convince uh, convince this problem whether i mean when i'm saying that the customer subconscious to go with your product okay i would like to share one video with you okay i hope this is audible and visible to you students uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am it's visible lower here lower mein hamare ghar ke samne bada baat us baat ka gate papa da रोज शाम को हमने वहां पतंगे उड़ानी और उसके बाद जाके यसु के दुकान से जजरिया चुरा के खाए मेरी पोती मुंबई वाली ओ बचपन 
Person is a very impactful promotion of uh, the Google search engine, right? If you closely observe, see, in this three minutes or three plus more minutes of ad, they haven't used a single time the name Google or go for use our search engine, Google, or you are getting all the information on just one click. They have not, you know, uh, promote their service this way okay through they, they create a story and uh, they show they showcase like it, wherever the people are there in the uh, at the corners of the world they can meet they can get any data on just one click okay so go for the google search engine that was just the idea behind this uh, uh, ad and you know it was so emotional ad, the people, uh, you know, remember these things and these things get fit into their subconscious mind. Okay. And that's the reason I showed you this particular ad because I use the statement like a great startup branding can motivate customers subconscious to go with their product or with their service over the competitor's work. Okay. So you need to attach your customers this way. Okay. Yeah, so we'll move further. Is there a better time for the branding for startups? There has been never a better time for the startup students. Okay, we, you can't keep on waiting for the better time. Okay, that's the reason I said, like the moment you start up with your idea, at the same time, you start thinking for the branding and the promotion of your product. Okay, and nowadays what is happening is, I mean, the government is coming with all kind of policies and incentives to promote the Startup India. Okay, what is the Startup India? It is the initiative by the government of India, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So that's a single 
largest online platform for startups and entrepreneurs in India. And if you see who student, you can just start, uh, type this Startup India in the Google search engine and you will get the, the official site and you could see uh, the facilities the government is providing for the startups. Okay, so uh, there are the programs such as the incubator programs and the accelerator programs. Okay, they provide various advantages to the startups like uh, ta uh, tax exemption, investment funds, easier norms to encourage entrepreneurship and facilitate the establishment of the startup. Okay, so uh, student uh, uh, in the big, I mean, IITs or few good colleges, they have the incubation centers. And what is happening in these incubation centers, if any of these students or if their faculty, they have some good, brilliant idea to go for the startup, this incubation center, they provide the infrastructure, okay? There could be, there will, uh, be a bond for two to three years. For, so for those two to three years, this incubation centers, they provide working space to that startup, they provide initial growth fund, they provide other infrastructure, lab facility, uh, uh, or advices, and all those things they provided to promote the startup. Okay, so student, if you have any such ideas, you can also uh, contact the incubation centers at the IITs, NITs, and few uh, uh, higher uh, education colleges. Okay, and after two, three years, that time period is enough for any startup to grow. Okay, so once you start getting the profit from your product, then you need to leave that back in that space and that will be given to some other startup. Okay, so this is the scenario is going on. Okay, yes. Yeah. Now the next point is, uh, what's the difference between the branding and the marketing? Again, student, to highlight this point, uh, I'll, I'll give you one example, okay? Suppose I am a marketing person, I will convince you to buy the, suppose, uh, some insurance policy or some, uh, let's say, uh, uh, I'll convince you to buy Toyota car, okay? You will buy it because that will be your first uh, foreign car, okay? So you, you will go for it. But... This is the marketing because I convince you to do that, right? But the branding is, it is the brand that will determine if you only go for Toyotas for the rest of the life. Suppose in your whole life, you're going to buy two or three times the car. Will you only go for the Toyotas, right? If you go for that, that means, okay, you are going uh, with that brand, okay? Nobody is convincing you. So marketing is what exactly they actively promotes a product or the service. It's a push tactic. Okay. They say, keep, okay, buy our product because it's better than other. But this is not with the branding. Branding does not explicitly say, Ki buy me. Instead, it says, this is what I am. And this is why I exist. If you agree, if you like me, if you trust me, you buy me support me and recommend me to uh, your friends okay so this is what branding makes loyal customers while marketing they just push buyers or they activates the buyer okay so there are few things uh, which i would like to point out that branding builds loyalty while the marketing generates response okay they convince the uh, customer and they go for the particular product and that uh, that's why they generate a response okay branding is about creating the value while well, the marketing is about extracting the value okay so the branding is basically for why why you should go for okay this is what i am if you like you go for this this is what the branding but the marketing people say, yes, I am the best. You go for me only. You buy my product. Okay. So those are the uh, key differences between the branding and the marketing. Okay. Yeah. 
the next we'll look at why is the branding important for the startups okay through those discussion we have got few points like branding is the one which helps you stand out from the competition okay if you are distinct if your name is unique it is matching with your product okay you will stand out from the competition right okay the second is it builds brand recognition yes if you want to build a successful brand you need to be recognizable okay recognizable in the sense the right branding include impactful logo it will uh, it, it, it include a proper website and that will help you out stand distinct in the crowd okay next is branding is important to create a consistent brand experience for your customer yes in see for your business to succeed you need to provide a consistent experience for your customer but how you will give that experience to uh, your customer yes if you give your customer a way or a freedom to put forward their view on your brand okay you know uh, that's why you are creating a a consistent experience for them so you know uh, they can put forward their views through your website or they can forward the views at event in person or by following your social media accounts and so on okay so these are the different ways which can create uh, a bond uh, with your customer okay spark a connection with your audience and turns that audience into a loyal customer yes the most successful businesses are the one that encourage or that build the emotional connections with your audience that is so important student and you know the the video which we have seen that shows the same thing so this emotional connection is what transform a prospect into a customer and a customer into a loyal customer or you could say a brand enthusiast okay this is are the importance of branding for the startups you could see student here what is you know few points are written why it is important okay because in 95 or here the one of the fact is 94% of people said they are highly likely to recommend a brand they were emotionally engaged with the percentage is high which is 94 okay the 94% says of the world 94% uh, of the world population recognize the coca cola logo okay yes it is impressive okay it is catchy so uh, the people go for, uh, with that 86% of the consumers prefer an authentic and honest brand personality on the social networks right similarly 77% of business to business marketer says the branding is crucial for the growth yes it is required it is necessary for the growth okay and on on average 5 to 7 percent impressions for people to remember your brand okay so these are few facts we have already discussed these points and all these points says that yes branding is the only way to make your customer uh, or the consumer recognize your product or recognize your service okay yes why what is the importance of branding because that gives you unique identity stay long time increase the visibility Uh, creating a strong image among your competitors and so on okay branding gives your business a unique identity that's the most common see student you can see at every slide i am you know this this uh, this logo is there which is institutions innovation council okay have you seen this logo 
closely. You, have you observed this? Okay. I, I see how creatively they have mentioned, you know, with designer look, the color combination. So it is very specific. I, I see. Okay. The one eye is this way. The other eye is this way. And the C is this. Right. So when you are creating this, you have to, you know, uh, the name itself is impressive. The institution's innovation cell. Okay. So I, I see. So how you blend these three letters, that is more important. Okay. Now, whenever this kind of thing is there, students know, yes, this is the IIC event. Okay. In almost all our brochures, we, this logo is there and people understand right, is, uh, easily. Okay. Yeah. This is the IIC uh, event. Yes. Branding helps increase your visibility. Yeah. Branding brings you into light and helps people recognize your existence. Okay. It improves visibility, not just among your customers, but also among the investor and all these stakeholders. Okay. You can see, uh, I mean, uh, from these two pictures itself, see, there are many companies that make running shoes. But it is only Nike that sells the Excel. And the people go for this. Right? And uh, the second picture tells about what? The India is among the largest milk producing nations of the world. But it is only the Amul that is recognized as what? The test of India. Okay? So that, you know, uh, if you are even uh, joining that tagline with your product, you know, uh, so that brand gives a personality to your business. Okay, the test of India. If you say just this line, the other people will say, "Oh, Amul." Okay. So, uh, why this is uh, so popular? Why these brands are so popular? Because they are not only promoting, but they are also providing the quality. Uh, what they are making the promises, they are fulfilling those promises for the years. Okay, and that's why they are so popular. Okay, yes. So we got the idea like why it is important branding and the promotion, what exactly it is now, how to do it. Okay, what so fundamental steps or basics for startup branding. Okay, yeah create a website before that student i uh, i would like to point out that your company name or should be a catchy name you know so finding a good brand name is not easy actually and one has to take care that it should be original and the unique okay so there are different ways you can choose that catchy name like based on uh, uh, yeah. what are the benefit your product is offering or what activities it does or it could be based on uh, the founder's name and so on okay but there is again to select the name for your uh, product or select the brand name what you can do is the very smart way is to shortlist few names First, you know, you know, shortlist few names and then evaluate those names based on the ease of uh, pronunciation, whether the common people can pronounce it properly, whether it has, it is the original, it is relevant with the product and so on. Okay. So after shortlisting few names, you rate those names uh, based on this factor, whether ease on reading is uh, originality, relevance and so on. Okay. And keeping these factors in mind, you have to also see that your target audience, they will think of what? How they will think of it? Will this, uh, the name is uh, giving the positive vibes? Does it convey what exactly you want to convey? Okay. So based on that, you should first decide the name for your brand. Okay. And then comes the, uh, yeah, website. Okay. Now today, I mean, this is our internet age. So no company can survive without a website. That's for sure. So it is essential that your website should uh, tie 
with your brand name okay so you should have a very good customized website design okay and there you should have a fine balance between the not only design it should not only the colorful website there should be a fine balance between the functionality and the design okay that will showcase your brand that will showcase your strength values as well as the product okay so it should uh, overall i could say that it should provide an experience that makes visitor uh, uh, to stay on your site and recommend it to the others okay so creating a website is the first step for the startup branding okay then define your brand's purpose yeah it should be uh, no you should uh, well define the purpose of your brand okay and th that's the thing which uh, truly separate uh, you from the rest of the pack i could say okay so your purpose is not limited to only uh, what the startup aims to provide but it would also includes its culture and the ideas okay so you should also mention the what is the purpose of your particular product okay designer visual entity that's a logo that's a very important part okay because visual aspect of a brand is extremely important and it has a great impact on the perception of your company okay see your logo is the face of your company so designing the logo is most important part okay because through that uh, only through that logo only the people will get to know who you are as a brand and how you want to be perceived by your customer okay so see if i am an engineer i am building some product i may not be in a position to uh, design the good logo but there are the different platforms so you can take help of the freelance platforms um it's uh, which will help you out to choose uh, the proper colors the proper font size uh, and everything as per your product okay so either you can have a graphic design members or the agent who will help you out with the logo design or you can take help of the freelance plat uh, freelance agent or the platforms which are available okay to design uh, logo the next step in wall is give the startup a voice yes student because it's not like okay i name the my products with some unique name and i design the logo and that's it no see you should get the feedback from your customer and so you have to give a voice to your customer okay so the concept of brands having a voice is not uh, new but it is now growing nowadays from last uh, few decades okay so how you can provide this voice so you can have open dialogue between uh, uh, your customer okay so on your website you should you can have the chat box through which the customer can give their feedback and you can improve on the same okay so there are infinite ways to reach to the public okay so it is not just the one way like you know i am just saying this and this things but there is the consumers feedback or their views are not taking into consideration okay so you should also give uh, a voice to your customer okay next is utilize social media yes social media present is much more than the part of group branding effort it's the main platform for outreach it's the main part of your brand's out uh, online existence okay it's a, you know uh, social media is an extremely powerful tool for any brand okay and especially the startups okay so you should uh, post 
the information of your product on all kind of social media okay that's very very important because that increases the visibility it improves the communication with both investors as well as with the customer okay and the last but not less think out out of box okay see this is where the creativity is required okay this is where the true creativity and the entrepreneurship skill it shines right see what i say is every day is the company startups are coming into the market okay so uh, in today's overcrowded startup environment only innovation is the key creativity is the key okay see more than the product innovation in the branding it carry a startup long way student when i am making this statement i will i'll convince this how why it is so important okay i am saying that innovation in the branding it carry your startup a long way okay and i will explain you this with the examples which i am going to share with you that is the startups by our own student you will find this part very interesting see okay so uh, i am really happy to share with uh, you all uh, this examples like this is the uh, utopia tech it is the startup uh, by our own student okay uh, it is founded by the passionate group of engineers and those engineers are our student uh, aish jain and shashank shah they belong to the department of electronics uh, batch 2012 i think yeah and uh, their product is smart time switch it's a next generation time switch that allows remote management of electrical loads via your smartphone okay so basically uh, their product is uh, uh, they, they are solving the urbanization problems using the internet of things they are transforming the street light management using the iot solutions okay so i'm not going into the detail of their product what i want to show here is the name their company is utopia tech so we have to focus on that why they have chosen that and why the logo is like this okay so the literal meaning of this word utopia is like it's something it's a perfect place a perfect society where the everyone is happy you know and they are working well with each other okay so it is a place or a state where uh, everything is perfect okay that's the meaning of it so they what is their aim is they want to have such kind of things okay they want to have the society where everything is perfect okay using the technology so they gave the name utopia tech and their line is what enabling smarter planet they want to make this earth planet smarter okay and you know so uh, see as per the name of uh, or as per their brand name you could say utopia tech is their brand name they have designed their logo enabling the smarter planet so the circle indicates what it depicts the planet it depicts the earth okay and they are connecting you know enabling the smarter planets they are connecting all infrastructure okay they are connecting this infrastructure with the help of technology and that's why they have shown this infrastructure connected one and making the whole planet as a uh, a smarter planet okay so this is their thinking like the solutions they are providing to you know they are solu the, they are providing the smart meters they are providing the smart street light management using the iot okay so that's the reason they have used this line enabling smart planet okay so student we have to you know think in the same way what is my product why i am giving the name Uh, to my product so and so so they have kept in the mind their background story what they are building what product they are you know if you remember the first slide when you uh, go for the branding the four factors you have to keep in the mind what is the background story what your product does 
what are the values which uh, uh, drives your team okay keeping all those things in a mind you can decide the name for your startup okay so this is uh, their story okay because in a way what they are doing is they are connecting physical infrastructure to the digital world and that's why this is the physical infrastructure and through this antenna they are connected to the digital world that is what the story behind it okay now student i said like promotion is very very important okay and uh, i'll i'll show you a few of the slides okay uh, last year only they completed uh, the four years to their company and uh, to promote uh, that they have comp successfully completed the four years uh, they release uh, this flag okay celebrating four years of inceptions now here the number you know if in a broadly we could say just the number four but see the creativity i i no, I told you students like creativity is very important in the branding process. Okay, so see here how creatively, uh, you know, they have managed the number four. They have mentioned everything. They have mentioned right from their uh, inception, two thousand seventeen to two thousand twenty-one. How many projects they completed? How many uh, clients they have? How many IoT devices they did, and so many things. All their success story they have mentioned in that letter form, okay. And it's not just the uh, one time uh, that okay, since they have completed the four years, they did like that. So once in a year, uh, uh, they are showing this way their flags. No, these things uh, they are continuously making as per uh, the uh, festivals come or as per the events come throughout the year, okay. And this day ensure that all this get promoted on all the social media handles too so that the people see okay uh, these are the visuals they are creating for their customers and and one customer recommend this to the other okay see the next few pictures okay what they are providing is they are providing the solution for the street lights so on the happy engineers day they release this one okay uh, in the Happy New Year event, what they did is they, they uh, create this uh, flag which shows that cut off the energy wastage by turning on the smartness in all work we do. Okay, so everywhere, you no, know, for everything they are relating their product. Okay, and making the impression on consumers' mind. Like what they are exactly and what kind of services they are providing. Student, these students are the, uh, uh, the they, they are the engineers. They they don't uh, they, they may not be so creative that every time because this again takes lots of time. Okay, so for that they have one design person. Okay, a creative design person who does all this work. Okay. So that's why I said, I mean, as an engineer, you may be involved in the designing of some product. At the same time, you can't do uh, this promotion and the branding. Okay. So what you can do is you can, along with you, you can uh, get one of your partner as a creative designer, or you can just uh, hire an agent initially with low cost agent, and then you can go uh for this kind of branding so you know after every intervals okay uh, they are showing their work to the consumers they are showing their work to the society okay so every opportunity uh, you know they are capturing and they are making the use of every opportunity okay if it's a uh, independence day what this is okay they use this word also atmanirbhar bharat and how they'll make it how their product will help in making the Atmanirbhar Bharat is that is what shown through this picture. Okay, so in every picture, if you observe, no, a lot of creativity is involved, and through that creativity, they are showing that how their solutions is making uh, or uh, changes to the society. Okay, similarly here, 
see happy makar sankram so instead of kite what they have shown is okay that their technology their utopia techs transform uh, transforming uh, the street lights okay so every way they are making uh, you know lights so my purpose of showing this uh, slides to you is is how they are promoting their product you know innovative way students so if you are thinking of some kind of product you at the same time you think of this how to promote this okay you can take help of some design person okay and the one more example of uh, our student is uh, is gaurav sen from the computer department he has uh, is the founder of this interview daily earlier he has worked with uh, other companies also he has his youtube channel he is a good speaker uh, he he has come to our college as a guest lecturer and so on okay he was working with earlier with morgan stanley and so on but right now um uh, is a uh, new venture is this interview ready where he is making the student uh, uh, capable of uh, appearing for the interview and so on okay so see the logo right he is making uh, people how to get ready for the interview so that is shown with what the symbol shows the two people on both the sides of the table okay and the uh, this stick is for uh, that correct interview or um, how to appear for it okay so this symbol simply says that okay the name and this logo it is matching isn't it interview ready okay so okay you are ready for the interview you are sitting uh, on one side of the table and other side your interviewer is there okay but and since you are ready that is shown by that tick okay so student what i mean to say is all through all these examples okay uh, we get the idea like how to choose the name for our brand and how to design a logo for it and how to consistently promote our product or our service or the brand okay so that the consumer or the customer will get uh, uh, the grasp of your product okay okay this is so and so product uh, and how it is making the changes and so and so so the customer will keep in a mind and recommend the same thing to the others okay yeah so that's the conclusion part like branding and the promotion is a way of communicating your offering and the value to the world and this way uh, establishes a presence and point out the difference that will hopefully urge customers to try out your product and choosing you over the others student so all this discussion what we had it it says the same thing that you need to stand out distinct okay among the crowd okay and that is possible only if you choose the correct way of branding and the promotion okay so with this i'll conclude this session student uh the right branding which includes the designing of impactful logo website uh, and other brand assets that help you to carve out a distinct style and it increases your brand recognition in the market okay we have seen this even the branding and the promotion brings you into light and helps the people recognize your existence it improves your visibility yes you need to keep on you know promoting your product so because that improves your visibility not only among your customer but also among your investors and the stakeholders okay there is nothing much more important to a startup than gaining the visibility that is required because for startup it is must it is the visibility that brings in opportunities and this fact well emphasizes the importance of branding for startups yes students so here i conclude this session if you have any questions i'm open for it uh 
students with this uh, session i am sure that few of you are doing mini projects or the projects so uh, uh, i can give you an activity like you keep your project in a mind and think that if you go uh, for that particular product or if you are developing an app okay so how you will design that app what the name you which name you will select for your app and uh, how you will design the logo okay so what i want student you please do this activity and share your things with me afterwards like for a particular app or for if you are uh, designing for some product going for some product you how you will select the name for that and uh, how you design the logo for that or if you want to create a website for that particular thing um what things uh, you will include okay this much part i want uh, you to include in your activity okay so thank you very much student for listening me patiently if you have any uh, queries i am open to it okay uh, so thank you very much student thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am ma yeah divita you can stop uh,